Well, local and mainland lawyers are gathering claims from residents affected by the Navy's water contamination crisis. Former Hawaii Attorney General Marjorie Bronster is spearheading the process and says it's the first step toward filing a lawsuit against the Navy. Bryce Moore has details. Attorney Marjorie Bronster says 14 claimants have come forward so far, and more are soon to come. If we want to sue the Navy, this is a, a, some, a first step that we have to do. So if the Navy does not respond and does not uh, compromise or deal with the claim at this initial level, they will face litigation. One gave testimony today on what she and her family have dealt with. And many times we went through, you know, being out of the shower and we feel like we're, we're high, we feel dizzy. And I'm scolding my children. Why are you putting too much Clorox in to wash the bathroom or even the shower? Going through COVID at this time, we know our government is spending so much of our federal dollars to, you know, for advertisements and everything. If our water is contaminated, all of this is useless. Active duty members are not able to submit claims through this process, but non-military citizens and family of service members are eligible. Kate Needham with the Armed Forces Housing Advocates tells me a lawsuit against the Navy should only be filed when all other options are exhausted. The, the length and the time of the situation is incomprehensible. I, I can't imagine not being in my home for almost two months with no running water and the continued medical issues for the humans and their pets. It's, it's traumatizing. Now we've reached out to the Navy for comment and have yet to hear back, but in the meantime, we'll put a link to how you can file a claim with Bronster and her legal team on our website, khon2.com. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.